The following program is a production of WXEL Television. Good evening and welcome to a special edition of South Florida Today called Health Matters. I'm Tony May. In the next half hour, we are going to look at the health reform debate that is raging on Capitol Hill. There's nothing clear yet as to what will come out, but one thing is clear. Families along the Treasure Coast and in Palm Beach County say the economic downturn and the health care crisis have combined to make a perfect storm. Many of them are struggling to pay health care premiums if they have health insurance at all. And the access to care is even tougher. More than 200,000 people every day have no insurance or little insurance to get medical care here in Palm Beach County. But there are places and programs that are working. First this evening, we travel to Palm Springs to Found Care Health Center. It's a place where people desperately needing medical care can walk in and get just what they need. Palm Beach County resident Gary Ritchie says he's a hardworking guy with a college degree and years of experience in his field. He has spent decades working for some of the biggest air conditioning contractors in our area. The last thing this father of three expected was to be out of work and on the unemployment line. Thank you. I came from making $50,000 a year to 10. That's a drastic change in our economic times. My mortgage is 2500 While the current economic conditions contributed to Richie's layoff, so did the fact that his diabetes was out of control. And without insurance, he found out how difficult it really is. The health care system in our country is just terrible. The people who are in true need, we're not getting the help. And basically, what I, I was told, I'm not going to name who told me, but until I really, you know, lose a leg or something like that, that's when I'll really be noticed and get the help I need. Good morning, Mr. Richie. How are you today? I'm fine. Good. Richie tried hard to fine. get his diabetes so under control, but without a today? job and without medical care, he had some I've tough choices to make. Take. All my life I've worked hard, so now that I need the help, I can't even get it because of our health care system. They, the, my insulin alone, cost $260 out of pocket. That's something I need, life or death, you know. I can either not feed the kids for that month or take whatever bill I can, you know, put aside and not pay and pay at a different time to have my insulin, but I don't know how they're gonna fix it. At first, he went to the health department clinics and says he was one of many waiting to be seen. He often had to make a decision between waiting hours to be seen by the doctor or looking for a job. You know what hurt me the most? I've never asked for help all my life. This is the first time I've been out of work and truly for a long time out of work and never having any kind of health crisis. Now that I have it, I ask for help and I can't even get it. Hi, how can I help you? And then his mom heard about Found Care Health Center. It is one of many clinics in Palm Beach County, which are on their way to becoming a federally qualified health center. Executive Director Bill Quinn explains. Basically, the way that the um, federally qualified health centers works is we are in a targeted community that is federally designated as a medically underserved area and also a health provider shortage area. Part of the reason for that is that um, the majority of people that live here that are uninsured or underinsured um, have insurances that most um, doctors can't afford to take. And so we get um, some enhanced reimbursement through that relationship with the federal government to help offset that cost. And that allows us to be able to, to pay our doctors, uh, to pay our staff, pay our administrative costs. But also as part of it, we participate in a, um, programs that help us 
uh, purchase our medications at reduced cost, purchase our supplies at reduced cost. How are you doing? Huh? I've had better days. <laughs> Basically, whatever a person presents with, um, in a normal primary care setting, we, we handle. So if a person needs medication, um, we prescribe that. Um, we're electronic medical records environment, so we're paperless. Um, our labs, our, all of our um, equipment is electronic, so we don't have any paper. Um, so we're a very green environment. Um, and we also prescribe electronically. So if, if you needed a medication, we would send it electronically to the pharmacy, any pharmacy within the community, and it's generally there before you arrive. When Richie arrived in the parking lot of Found Care, he had no idea he was actually in the right place until a special person pulled up next to him. My nurse, Elsie, I met her in the parking lot. I said, look, I have a problem. I'm really doing bad right now. I don't feel good. My sugar's really high. Uh, I need some help. I'm looking for this clinic that's supposed to be around here. And she's like, don't worry about it. Come with me. I'll help you. And I didn't know that I was actually at the clinic. And I met with Elsie in the parking lot. She walked me in, sat me down and said, give me a few minutes to get settled and I'll come in and take you back. And she explained to me this was the clinic. And from that point on, she's been an angel to me. With Elsie's guidance and expert medical advice, Richie began getting his sugar levels under control. He says the efficiency of how things operate here means he can still balance his work study and not miss his checkups. In one day, they had me seen, schedule an appointment for the following week. I came back in. She had my blood work. She told me everything that I needed to take care of, what I needed to do. Quinn says the difference between found care and a typical free clinic is vast, mainly because of the resources and the model. We don't want people to have to sit and wait. Um, they're checked in quickly. We try to do as much of the um, information exchange before the person actually actually gets here and try to really keep the amount of time from the time you walk in the front door until you get back to see the provider that you're scheduled with to the shortest amount of time possible. Found Care operates with the help of a grant from the Quantum Foundation and will soon be billing for Medicare and Medicaid. These dollars help pay for the services for those who are uninsured like Richie. And the numbers are growing. The demand has been overwhelming. There are a lot of people who need the services. Right now, um, to date, in seven months of uh, providing care, we've, we're now over 800 patients uh, with uh, close to 3,000 um, visits for, for those people. Um, and we have um, over 300 people on a waiting list to, to be served. So the, that list just keeps growing. And our patient says while he's not versed on what's going on in Washington, okay. D.C., he does have his own opinion about health care access like he found here. I walked in as someone who was in dire need and dire strait, and I walked out with all the help I needed. While no one is sure what the final health care reform plan will look like, those watching believe there is still a long way to go to make sure all residents of Palm Beach County have the same access to good, quality care. There's still discrimination um, based on your, your name, how it sounds, the language you speak, the color of your skin, the community that you live in. Those still are barriers that are real and money hasn't necessarily resolved yet. So there will still be a need for health centers like ours um, because that's our purpose as we break down those barriers so that people can um, access and be treated with respect and get high quality health care that typically the system to date has not been able to um, find a way to, to make happen. So I had to reinvent myself and without this place, I would not be here.